The GDNT standard of concentricity is not what you might think. The most common fact you can find out about concentricity is that it is not what most people expect, and that most people use it wrong. Concentricity doesn't actually make sure that circles are concentric. What it does do is make sure that the median points of all diametrically opposed elements of a surface of revolution, or the median points of correspondingly located elements of two or more radially diposed features, are congruent with a datum axis, or center point. What does this mean? It means that if we take a cross-section of this pin and control it for concentricity, we would then need to measure all diametrically opposed points and find their median. We can do that by drawing a line through the ideal axis of the pin, measuring the two points where that line intersects with the pin's edge, and calculating a median point, and then repeating that process around the entire pin. When we finish, we would find a large number of median points, and if they all fell within the circular tolerance zone, then the concentricity control would have been met. If concentricity was called for this end of the pin, this process would then need to be repeated along the entire length of the pin. Every median point of diametrically opposed surface points at every cross-section would need to fall inside the defined tolerance zone. Concentricity is difficult and expensive to gauge. A 3D scan of the entire surface combined with expensive software to calculate every median point of every cross-section is the only practical way to gauge it. This is made even harder by the fact that concentricity measures median points in relation to a tolerance zone that references datum features, and not just in relation to the real surface of the pin. On our part, even if our imperfectly made pin had all calculated median points of all cross-sections fit inside a 2 mm cylindrical zone, we need to remember that concentricity is comparing those calculated points to a tolerance zone that is defined by the datum features. So our TZ may not be centered in the pin, and our part still may not pass inspection. Concentricity is difficult to gauge because it requires comparing derived median points to a TZ based on datums. Concentricity might also not be what you want because it doesn't guarantee the surfaces are round. For instance, this flywheel has diametrically opposed high and low points, so all median points of all cross-sections fall inside a small tolerance zone but this is likely not a shape most people would think as having high concentricity. One of the few times concentricity might be what you want is when rotational balance is important, such as the flywheel or automotive camshafts. One thing concentricity does do is guarantee an equal distribution of mass around an axis, which provides balanced rotation. Even this is only true if the material of your part is perfectly uniform. In most cases, what you should know about concentricity is that you probably want a different control for whatever you're doing. Next up is symmetry, but first let's check your understanding of concentricity.